Good evening. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Channeling Korea. Today is July the 11th, 2021. So let's begin. Let's begin by just doing a short meditation. So move yourself to a comfortable enough position. And then just take a deep breath in and let it all go. And then take another deep breath in and let it all go. And then continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And set an intention to relax your body. Use your breath. Use the gentle rhythm of your breath to assist you in starting to relax your body. Every time you breathe in, breathe in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that is stressing you or taking you away from this moment. So relax and allow yourself to become completely present. Be this consciousness that is within your body. Become present in your body. This means that you become aware of what's happening in your body without reacting to it. Simply be the witness to your own breathing and the witness to what's going on in your body. And also be the witness to any thoughts, random thoughts that may be coming in. So just allow yourself to be at ease and just be with all of you in this moment. And when you feel your own body becoming more relaxed, then shift your attention into your heart. Choose to be in your heart. And when you are in your heart, it's much easier for you to quiet your mind down. And it's much easier for you to be present to yourself as well. When you're present to your heart, Choose to love and accept yourself and all of your environment unconditionally. Choose love. Choose unconditional love. Choose to love yourself totally and unconditionally. Feel what it feels like to be in your heart and completely accept and love yourself. 
without any conditions at all. Be present to what that feels like in your body to absolutely and unconditionally accept and love yourself. With a smile on your face, send a beam of this unconditional love and acceptance from your heart all the way down to the center of Mother Earth, to the heart of Mother Earth. I love you, Mother Earth, and I wish to be connected with you even more. And feel, Mother Earth, returning your love a million times over. And from your heart, send a beam of this unconditional love and acceptance through the top of your head, all the way up to the sun, to Father Sky, to the star of the solar system. The sun as a representative of the creator source energy. Creator source. I love you and I wish to be connected to feel your presence in my life. And feel Father Sky returning your love a million times over. Feel the blessings from the universe. Do you not know that everyone has their eyes on you in this moment? You are the crown jewel in this part of the universe. And the universe from all over is sending their love and congratulations to you. Congratulations for achieving something so miraculous that you have no idea that you have done it. You have done it. You have woven all the millions and millions of intercepted timelines to 
so that they all become just one now, one timeline for the human race. And what is the human race? That's a good question. Nobody knows because you're all here to create it. Whatever you wish to create of this. The future is for you to create. All these assistance from all over the universe is converged on Earth right now. Not to influence you, but simply to hold space for each and every one. To create it as they go along, to create it with every breath, to create it with every thought. Whatever you focus your mind on, you are pulling it into your future. This is a promise. This is how the universe work. It is simply by focus, by voting your precious energy. When you hold a thought in your mind, you vote for that with your energy. So this is how you create with your energy, by your focus. No one can tell you whether this is right or wrong. There is no such thing. There is simply creation. All creations are good. All creations are right. There is no opportunity for miscreations because every miscreations does not exist. Only creations exist. The judgment is an illusion. You either learn from your creations or you simply enjoy your creations. There is no opportunity to miscreate. So let go of your judgments. Judgments are from a different timeline, from a different era. From this time on, give yourself permission, full permission, to simply create from each moment.
pull in the things that you want to experience more of. Focus on them. And if you don't know how, then ask. All you have to do is simply go within and ask. Ask to be shown. Ask for assistance. We from the other side cannot assist you if you do not ask. To offer our ideas to you without being asked is an intrusion. We do not wish to interfere with your free will. We only wish to assist when you ask. You do not know yet how powerful you are. You have been conditioned to play small. And now that those barriers are breaking down, The doors are being unlocked. It is time for you to start walking. Start walking towards the direction that your heart pulls you towards. Let go of your conditioning to tell you that you have to fit into a certain role. There are no more roles for you to play. There is simply you. And what it is that is with, within you, who you are, your true self. you in touch of that. Get in touch with that, with who you are. And let that be your guidance. Let your true self When you embody your true self, your heart knows which direction, where to go from here.
you're not used to it yet. You're not used to walking in a direction without knowing where the destination is. But this is how your true self works. You only know the next step. And when you have taken that step, then the following step will show up. You have freedom. Freedom that you never had before. You have freedom to create to create something that has never been done before. Because it has never been done before. There are no steps. You simply have to start. And when you start, the universe will start to create the next step. And sometimes the next step does not show up right away. You simply have to take a step and stop and go do something else. Live your life until such time as the next step shows up. It is not logical. It is not linear. It is natural. And that's how Natural is like, it is organic. It is not always predictable. It takes some adjustment, but it is quite a pleasurable way of doing things. You don't have to punch a clock anymore. You simply have to set a direction. Do your part and let the universe do their part. It's a co-creation. And when you start to tick a direction and follow your heart, then the right circumstances will show up. The right people will show up. And that is how it is done. It is natural, it is organic, and it's very different.
from what you used to. And so you have doubts. Don't think like a human being. Or more precisely, don't think like the old human being. This is the new human being. New human being that is completely free. That is connected to their heart. You're not used to being supported. You're used to always having to fight, having to plot and counter plot, having to think of all contingencies. Having to have everything planned out 10 steps ahead. You have plan A, plan, plan B. And that is the old human. And the new human connect with themselves, connect with the source within themselves that is like a force that pulls you towards a direction. You may not even know what the destination is, but you simply know a direction. And things work out when you take a step the next step will appear and if you hit a bump in the row and you don't know how to move forward then you simply wait there Take a couple of days off. Take a couple of weeks. Until all of a sudden, somebody comes along and tell you, oh, you have to go that way. When the next step shows up organically, which maybe a day before you were absolutely sure that this was a mistake, that it was not. 
The universe simply has to orchestrate everything. The next step will show up when it is ready to. And everything will simply line up. And you will be supported. And you're not used to being supported. But you will get used to it. Because more and more often you would start to have that kind of experience. And we are telling you this to let you know what going forward is going to look like. It's going to look a little different than before. But if you will simply allow it, play with it a little, And maybe even have some fun in this new way of creating naturally and organically. This is perhaps the hardest adjustment. The hardest adjustment is to follow your heart. It does not mean you cannot use logic, but it simply means that you have to check in with your heart. And do all the logical things that you do. And then you still have to check in with your heart. Even if the logic is all perfect, but if your heart tells you otherwise, We are suggesting that maybe you should listen to your heart. And what would happen if you don't? Nothing. You will have an experience and then you will learn. No matter which way you go, you will always learn something.
that if you follow your heart, you just may find that you get more assistance from the universe because your heart is energy. And when energy shows you the way, everything just seems to be easier. Be in your heart. Your heart is a muscle. It gets stronger if you use it. It is already the most energetic part of your whole body. The more you let go of judgments towards yourself and towards other people, the stronger your energy will be and the easier it is to follow your heart. I'm not saying that where we are moving towards has no logic. Of course there is. We are simply saying that your heart can show you a shorter way, an easier way and then logic may be able to show you. And that is perhaps the hardest thing for the old human to let go of. And when you use your heart and when you follow your heart, your people, the people who also wants the same things that you do, will be able to come together to assist you, to assist them as well. And when more people come together, whose heart can align, the easier it is to create
and where the new human beings are moving towards needs that, needs that coming together from the heart. And it makes it easier to find those people when you listen to your heart. Your heart will send out that signal to pull what is you need and who you need towards you. Do you know that everything and everyone is connected in your heart? And when you follow your heart, It will assist you to make the connections, to find the right people, to say the right words, to come up with the most organic and natural plan. And this is what we all need. to bring about the future that we are co-creating together. The co-creation has started already. You may not be able to see much yet because we are still in the first steps. It may look like the old system is still there. So is the new system. The new system already existed energetically and the people that are following their heart is already being called It's a lot of work that we needed to do. And we will all be able to finish it all up. And it becomes easier if we all remember to stay in our heart. To find solutions. To come
come together, help one another out. To come together, to start. To co-create. New Earth. It already is here. It already exists. Train your heart to lock into that energy signature of new earth. And let your heart be guided by that energy to pull you forth, to connect you, to find your group, find your location. Find your project. All eyes are on you. The universe cheers you on. We are all waiting for humanity to come up. To build the new earth, where this new earth will be a metropolis of galactic proportion. We thank you for being brave, for having gone this far already. It is a wonderful accomplishment. Thousands of years in the making. here now. We're finally here now that we can start to build. It may look like sand castles at first. But then the sand castles becomes the model for a more stable future.
we congratulate you and we are so happy to be a party to witness all of this we love you and we thank you for this opportunity to be with you thank you thank you Thank you.